Well, welcome to another Team Neos Spotlight session. And today we have the pleasure and the honor of speaking with the amazing AJ Hainsworth. He is one of the Team Neos leaders. He is also known as the dropship assassin. And today we'll learn why he's the dropship assassin. Now, I know you're used to seeing the beautiful Miss Lyria Moore. But um, today I am doing the, the Neos uh, Spotlight session. So, Leah, Lyria will be doing some and I will pick up a couple as well. You know, um, so we, we uh, appreciate AJ's time. We're glad that he's here with us tonight. And we think there's a lot of information he can share that will be helpful to all of us to help us to learn about this business. So Mr. AJ, I'm glad Thanks. you're here. <laughs> so Thanks we're going to... <laughs> We're going to get this party started. And I wanted to, the first question that I have for you is, you know, why did you get in this business and, and when did you start? Well, I, um, I started this business. It was, um, fourth quarter around, uh, mid November, maybe early November, uh, 2014. And, uh, the reason I, 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 I got into this business by accident, I knew I was looking to make money online. You know, I, I come from a, a military background and I was just tired of of deploying. I wanted something a little more stable, something I can stay at home uh, on a consistent basis. So I always knew I'm currently in the IT field now. So I always knew that I wanted to make my money online just due to the fact that I'd be able to have a remote business. I can be anywhere and make money. So I was just looking for that type of business model. So I, I tried a few things that just wasn't in my comfort zone, so to speak, or was trying to stretch me further than I was willing to go at the time. And just by accident, I, I came across a video that was talking about um, this particular business and I got started and it's been, uh, uh, on, uh, it's been on and popping ever since then. <laughs> so, okay, so you said around, you said the end of 2014, Right. So you have just been in the business a little over a year, like a year and a half almost, right? Exactly. Oh my goodness. And so um, you found that this particular business helped you to be able to have the flexibility that you were looking for? Yeah, actually what it was, was I was in a position to do everything from home. I didn't have to, uh, you know, in, in corporate, I currently work in corporate America, but there's a certain level of conforming you have to do. You kind of have to speak a certain way and look a certain way. And you always got to be mindful of what you're saying and who's around and who's listening. So I always knew I wanted to get myself from that environment to my living room where I can dress the way I want if I felt like putting on clothes and still, and still make money. You know, I want to be able to, you know, use my own mannerisms. And if I want to be loud, I can be loud. And if I don't feel like shaving, I don't have to shave. You know, those, those are things that were, were uh, important to me. That That's the, the quality of life that I want to just be able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. And I knew that an online business would, would get me there. And that's what drove me to, to pursue and excel in this particular company. Well, tell us about your first month in this business. What was that like? How did it go? You know, what kind of you know, productivity did you have? How, tell us about that first month. Well, my, my first month my, in, in this business was um, strictly working on, with eBay. I initially started off um, drop shipping on eBay. So I, uh, I had up about maybe um, 10, 15, 20, 25 items at the most. And it took me roughly right around a week and a half, two weeks to make my first sale. The first sale I can remember, it was, uh, it was a case for a... Um, well, like an iPad or an iPhone, you know, it was an iPad, like a rubber type case, uh, you know, something I wouldn't have personally bought, but 
you know, it was easy to list. It, it had images. I, I put it up and it sold. And once that thing sold, I believe my, my profit might have been $12, $15. It wasn't a huge profit, but it was the the first time I legitimately made money online from someone that I didn't know. You know, I, I've tried a few things and, you, you know, you tell your buddy to sign up or you have my sister sign up just to see if the phone works and you know, you might make a dollar or two from that, but it's not residual. But this was the first time I actually made money from a customer that didn't know me. I didn't know them. I just followed the process and it worked. So although it was the, the, the dollar amount wasn't astronomical, but it was, it was money. I was in profit and there's not many businesses that you can be in profit your first couple of weeks in business. You know, that's almost unheard of in most companies and most businesses, but you know, this, this thing, it made sense, you know, copy and paste, you know, who can't do that? If, if you can't, there was videos that told you step by step how to do it. And it, it just made sense. You know, find things low and sell them high. Money went straight into my PayPal account. It, it was the business model made sense. I didn't have to speak to many people. I was just able to quietly at night list in my office and I wound up getting a sale. And from there, it was just, it was just a numbers game. It was scaling up to continue making this thing happen. Wow. And so your first month, you know, your first sale sounds like it was awesome. Your first month, you just kept being consistent or did you, you know, how did you figure out how to organize your life around this business in your first month? Well, one, once I made the sale, you know, I knew that um, listing really wasn't my favorite thing to do. So I did, you know, um, try to find ways to compress time to get my listing faster. So I wound up going out to, to get various tools, just did a lot of additional research on my own, things that can make listing easier for me. So my initial goal was to just come up with a, a strategic pattern or a strategic me method to listing on eBay so I can just duplicate that particular process and get faster over time. So that, that first month, month and a half, was pretty much just getting my workflow down and um, I'd put at the at most, I'd say maybe an hour, hour and a half in the beginning. But as the sales start coming in, you start to increase the time because you know that those money making activities is what's going to drive cash into your business. So um, I'd say roughly about month two, I was putting about, um, say about a good two, two and a half hours a day right before bed, just listing, grabbing items and uh, put them up on eBay, and that's how we got going. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. Now, I do have to ask a question that's not on here. <laughs> sure. um, for you in this business, like, is this become a family affair? Um, because I know for some, uh, if they have a family, they kind of get a, everyone involved. For others, they just they continue to do it alone. So are you doing this alone? Is this a family affair? How is that working out for you? This is uh, very much so a family affair to uh, my wife and I, to include my, uh, my, our daughter. We, we do this thing together. We go out, we shop for profits. You know, it's, um, initially, it was something that I started. And um, just due to the fact that I've tried various things, my wife was used to me starting stuff, but I, I didn't finish a lot of it. That goes for fence work, yard work. There's a lot of things I'll start. So me starting something wasn't surprising, but once I actually uh, stuck with it and she's seen the money start to trickle in, then uh, I was able to get my wife on board. And from then we've just been a uh, tag team in this thing. Our daughter helps us find items, you know, listen to the children. They know what's trending and uh, parents are gonna buy what the children want. So, you know, we, we, we go out together and make a, a family day of this. It's items and activities we have to do anyway. We have to go grocery shopping. We have to, you know, get general household goods. So while we're out doing things that we would normally have to do, we find a way to incorporate income producing activities in regards to finding products or finding new discount stores or just venturing out sometimes out of town to find stores that may not be in our local area. So we can just continue to increase the inventory and the variety of products that we're able to ship in. So it, to answer the question, yes, we, we do this as a family. That is totally awesome. I love that. I really do. 
I really do. Um, okay, so what was your most profitable month or most profitable period, quarter, whatever? What was your most profitable my, time? My most profitable month was quarter four of last year, which was 2015. So Q4 2015, the, the month specifically to be exact was December. And um, reason being is we found an item and I, I hope um, no one gets mad if, if you bought this item that, that you know, my, my return policy is, is far come and gone. So I, I do apologize. But we found, that we found an item that we were able to source for about $45. And it was a, a Christmas holiday seasonal item. And um, we were selling that item for about $140, $150 on Amazon. It sold so much on Amazon that we listed on eBay. So we started selling it on eBay as well. So that particular month, I'd say we sold close to maybe three, 350 of that particular item. So that, that month was huge for us. So much they, they changed the, uh, the website, wouldn't allow anyone to buy more than two per household. So I think we had something to do with that. But, but it was there just, just happened to find that item that blew that quarter four through the roof for us. And we've been able to recycle that money and keep this going. Okay, I'm speechless for I'm like, what? You sold over 300 of this item that you bought for roughly 4950 bucks. Yeah. And you sold it for 140 mm -hmm. and you sold almost 300 of them. Yeah. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what it is cuz I know that the time is coming gone, so Oh no, you we'll might want to keep it for this year. You might we'll find something different, you know, people are hip to it now, so I'm sure we'll find something different this year, but it was the star shower laser lights that shine on your house. Those little green, yellow, green and red lights that shine on the house. You stick them in the ground and they are lights on the house. That was our, that was our star item for, for Q4. 300. Yeah. Yeah. We sold quite a few. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Nice. Congratulations to you guys. <laughs> no. So if that didn't make it, that doesn't make you believe, Ray. I, I don't know what will. I don't know what will. Oh yeah. my God. I need to find like an item like that. Oh my goodness. All right. I have to contain myself and keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> That's a shocker. I just have to tell you. And that is totally awesome. Um, so you are, you know, you're doing e-commerce, you're working from home, you're on Team Neos, you joined Infinii, you know, tell us what you like about Team Neos and what you like about Infinii. Well, starting with uh, Team Neos, it's just, it's more so a family than a team. You know, everyone is so giving of the, the information that they're willing to help. Everyone wants to see each other succeed. You know, it's this is when you're doing an online business or a work from home business. It sometimes the the people you see daily don't understand what you do. They can't relate to what you do. It sometimes doesn't even make sense to them, or they might think it's just kind of fly by night. But when you're able to share with like minded people and and uh, have a, a common goal and, and a common vision. You know, Team Neos is that that place for me. It's 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 home. It's family. You know, I um. There are days when you feel like doing nothing, but you might see a, a Team Neos member. Or you might see a team member that that hit a post and say, "Hey, I just got this." Or, "Hey, I just made that," and that motivates you to, "Hey, I can't I can't let you pass me. I gotta I gotta get up and do something." So you know, just the the camaraderie and the, the friendly competition. It's a it's it's a beautiful thing, and that's why I'm I'm pretty much here to stay. Wherever Team Neos is, that's where I'm gonna be. Um, as far as Infinity, the um the integrity of the company for one, you know I, I've noticed from day one they they weren't trying to push products on me in regards to get money out your pocket and leave you with no information. You know the the whole business model was a hey, start where you are, learn where you are before you before you upgrade. Matter of fact. We don't even want you to upgrade until you've learned where you're at. And that's one thing that I've truly uh, found um, 
refreshing about the company. The second thing is that the information that I learned is true educational business growing information as it relates to e-commerce. I mean, you can, you know, once you have this information, you can go anywhere with it. You can take it with it. Once you know it, it's yours. You can build upon it and you can, it, it's endless. So the thing is that I know Infinia is not going anywhere or Infinia is not going anywhere, but if it was to close down tomorrow, I've been armed with the tools where I can sustain. I can continue to grow my business and um, continue to bring in extra money that's going to provide the lifestyle that my family and I deserve, to be honest with you. That is totally awesome. I like Team Neos too. <laughs> and our fearless leaders, Nikki and Parrish Witherspoon. Um, so what would you, there's like, pros and cons, do's and don'ts, you know, uh, that you would probably share with a new team member. What are three things that you would say, recommend, encourage, do's that you would um, say to a new team member, just three? All right, three things that I would definitely say do is, one, is you wanna watch the training. You definitely wanna watch the training. You know, that you'll, you'll get excited, but you know, before you make any stage, because you know, there's a way to do something and lose money. So you, the goal is not to lose money. So you definitely want to watch the training. The set, second thing I would say is after watching the training, almost immediately after, you want to take action. You have to apply the things that you've learned. You know, it, it doesn't, it's, it's not any use to you if you just have it and hold it and don't apply it. You can't see any, you know, you got to plant the seed to see the fruit, right? So you have to get out there. You have to apply the information. Then third, I would just say consistency. You have to, you have to be consistent, whether it's 30 minutes a day, um, an hour a week, regardless of what it is, be consistent at it. You know, you, you got to, you know, we all have life going on. We, we got school, we have children, we have work, you know, we have bills that, that come regardless. They have to get paid. So you have to, carve out time or make time in your day to be consistent in your business. You have to treat this the way you would your nine to five job. So if you can get up at five in the morning and hit that road by six to go work for someone else, then you can stay up till one, two in the morning if need be to, to work for yourself. It's just the mindset you have to have. So I would say training, action, and be consistent would be my, my three biggest things. Those are awesome. I like those. <laughs> and what would you say are three no's, don'ts, you know, cons? Or I wouldn't say con, pros and cons, but I would just say what are three things you would say don't do or that you wouldn't recommend new team members to do? If you were thing, coaching them, mentoring them, whatever. One thing, one thing I would say is to be realistic. You know, um, if you know this is a it's, this is a business and it does it takes effort it takes um consistency to grow so don't expect to start today and be making six figures tomorrow you know you gotta you gotta set some realistic goals for yourself um you have to um not quit to be honest you just have to not quit you have to you have to um we're, we're talking about knots. I'm starting to spiral out here. We're talking about things not to do, right? Yeah. So one thing I would say do to do is to not do is do not expect to jump in this thing and be able to, to hit a home run every time. You know, the goal is just to get base hits. So don't get discouraged if you if things aren't moving as fast as you want them to go. That's an opportunity for you to tweak and learn how to make them move. So for one, don't get discouraged. Um, another thing I would tell you not to do is to, um, let me think, some good knots. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm, I, struggle, I focus so hard on what to do, I don't even, it's hard for me to think of what not to do. You don't I know. To... I do the same thing. And I'm like, okay, if I was coaching someone or mentoring something, someone, what would I tell them not to do? Or what would I tell them? Avoid this or don't do that or stay away from this or, you know. One thing, one thing I would say is don't get stuck 
in the information stage. Don't get to, it's easier. I, I know I mentioned you got to watch the videos, but you don't have to watch them 30 times a day. You know, you just need to watch them to get, you know, get your feet wet and get the ball rolling. Don't get stuck in trying to research every little thing. You want to know everything about Amazon. You want to know everything about eBay. You want to know what they did 10 years ago. And it, it doesn't, you know, you just got to get out there and make this thing happen. You know what I'm saying? You can't can't get focused on that whole research process. You know, you want to know what you're doing and know about the industry you're in, but don't stay there. You know, you, you got to produce, you got to get some action going. You got to do some income producing activities and you got to make it happen. Another thing that I would say don't do is do not put all your eggs in one basket. This Good advice. Company, this company Good advice. has so many ways that you can make money. You spend a little time learning one way, you figure out a workflow for that one, then move on to the next one. Get a few things up, get a few platforms going. Because, you know, some, some platforms do better in certain seasons. There's different strategies per platform. So you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket and something happens and now you feel like you're at ground zero. So you, you want to kind of spread things around. There's so many, so many ways in this company to make money that there is no reason for you to just focus on one income stream. So that would, that would be my, uh, my third thing. Don't just have one income stream when there's several of them available to you, you might as well juggle a few of them so that daily there's money coming into your house. All right. So well, there you go. Don't quit. That's the first one. <laughs> so persevere through people. <laughs> Don't be an information gatherer. That information gathering will not make you money. Taking action will make you money. Right. And <laughs> And don't, uh, I guess, be married. Don't, don't. I was gonna say, be married to one product, but just don't just isolate one income stream. And I agree with him on that one. Um, don't do that because there's so many different ways you can make money. So many different platforms. So many different products. Don't get tied to just one. Don't limit yourself. So I have to. We're gonna wrap this up here in a, me a minute. But I do have to ask a couple, two more questions. Sure. Tell us why do they call you the dropship assassin? Oh, dropship assassin. Well, the reason being is that when I started selling on um, eBay, it was all about drop shipping, and I took that same that same concept over to Amazon, and it was just. The, the thing I liked about drop shipping is I didn't have to have the money up front on eBay once I made it out of my my preliminary stages on Bonanza as well. As soon as that money, as soon as the customer buys, that money is ready and available for me to go purchase that item and send it to the customer. So initially, being that I was starting something new, I knew I couldn't just say, hey, go to the wife and say, hey, I'm, I'm starting this new thing. Let's go take $500 out to the store and go buy it. You know, I had to show that this thing works without spending any money. So that was my goal. I wasn't trying to spend any money out of pocket and make this thing work. And drop shipping was how I was able to do that. So, you know, that, that's that been my bread and butter. So there are, there are no excuses. You know, I didn't have to have much money at all to make this happen. I just had to put in the time and put in the work. And uh, drop shipping was how I really, and to this day, how we see the majority of our income. It comes from drop shipping. All right. And what are your plans for the future with your business, um, with, you know, what you have going on with your e-commerce business? What do you, what does the future look like for you, you and your family? Well, the, the future for us is, uh, it's looking pretty bright and not to sound cliche. I might have to buy me some shades, <laughs> you know, but, um, no, the, the goal for us is, is pretty much to be in a situation where we can get things automated. We, we're gonna we're working on perfecting the workflows ourselves so that we can actually teach someone how to do exactly what we do so we can remove ourselves a little bit and then increase the time that we do have available to just do what we want to do because although it's uh our own business and we're working for ourselves we don't want to become a slave to our own business you know it's that defeats the purpose although we'll be at home we can't go outside because we're in front of the computer working. So, you know, it's still, we still got to find a way to automate this and, and get some, some uh, automation in place so that we can truly 
go on the, the month, the two month vacations and, and know that money is still hitting. So um, that, that is our goal. And Infinii has so many um, options for us in regards to Infinii stores and the various marketplaces that are coming out, the new things that are doing with the marketplace that are just going to give us the opportunity to catapult ourselves this year. We're looking to have a huge quarter four. And um, after that, there, there's no turning back. You know, we're, we're not trying to, to go backwards. We're going forward. So when we send this money out, it's going to come back bigger and better and stronger with some muscles. And we're just going to keep sending it to training camp because we're trying to grow it as, as fast as we can. I love that. <laughs> I do. Well, I am so glad that you took the time to hang out with me today and um, share the insights and the wisdom that you have with the audience and with the Team Neos family and those who watch this video. You know, AJ talked about a lot of great information about, you know, how to be successful in this business, um, how to make money, how to, you know, persevere through. There's always going to be different things that happen in a business. And then also, you know, his whole vision for the future and scaling up and being able to have more time flexibility. So um, I think those are all wonderful reasons why you want to be in this business. The ability to be able to work from home, the ability to be able to set your own schedule, um, to be able to, you know, the endless different ways in which you can make money, the different platforms that we have, the different products um, that you can sell on any of the platforms, uh, just the different the ways that you can scale up as well. Um, so you want to be in this business. This is a great time for you to, you can click, there should be like a button or something at the bottom of this page. And you can click that and join, um, join AJ's team, join anyone on Team Neos. Um, we're, we'll be happy to help you within the Team Neos family. We have our own private Facebook group and we also have a private training site that gives you the opportunity to get plugged in and to learn about this business and to learn how to make money with other e-commerce entrepreneurs. So AJ, thank you so much for taking the time to interview in this Team Neo Spotlight session. I am so glad that we did this and oh, I learned you. something. Oh my God, I'm like, what? Now I have to go do the math. I have <laughs> to go do the math. I'm not gonna be able to go to sleep without doing the math. Um, <laughs> so we'll do another Team Neo Spotlight session where we'll interview another e-commerce entrepreneur who's making money with Team Neos and Infinii in this business. So look out for our next video and thank you so much for watching this one. Be sure to share this video and like and subscribe, like the video and subscribe to this channel. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Go. Just watch.